Right, so these homework questions are pretty standard. Um, so what have we got? We've got a box of mass, five kilograms resting on a smooth plane, an incline. Okay, so this is just an incline plane question. Actually, let's just draw an incline plane. It's an incline plane. Okay, and it has an angle of alpha. Okay, and we're told that tan alpha equals five or twelve. Okay, we've got uh, something that weighs five kilos. So that's five g. Which would be a normal reaction to the surface, and there's a force p acting parallel. First thing, okay, we've got tan alpha. So if I've got a right angle triangle, because as soon as we talk about soccer, so okay, I've got tan. Tan is opposite over adjacent, so that means that this is five and this is twelve. What well, five squared plus twelve squared? That's twenty-five plus one hundred and forty-four. It's one sixty-nine. So that's 13. So now I know what sine alpha and what cos alpha are. So sine alpha, and that sine opposite over the hypotenuse. So that's going to give me 5 over 13. Cos adjacent over hypotenuse is going to be 12 over 13. Right, so now what we're going to do is work out what the normal reaction is and what P is. So, if I want a normal reaction, I'm going to go vertical. So, what have I got? I've got a normal reaction. And remember, this is an equilibrium. So, that means that my force going up is that, my force going down is 5G. And my 5G is not going straight down. I'm following my normal reaction, it's perpendicular to the surface to my incline plane, so it's at an angle of alpha. Okay, so in the other direction, going down, I've got 5g cos, because remember we're talking about this triangle so on the adjacent side, cos alpha. Okay, and we know that 5g cos alpha is 5g. 12 over 13 because we've got that in my triangle. So now all I have to do is do 5 times 9.8 times 12 over 13 and I get 45.23. Okay, now I need to find, so that's my A taken care of. Okay, now I need to do B, work out P. Well, P is going up, so that's my horizontal. So P going up, and the only force stopping it going up is gravity. So remember that's basically that's this angle here. So P is equal to 5G again. Remember this time it's not cos alpha, it's sine alpha, because it's the opposite of that. It's the idea of that cos alpha there. Okay, so that means again I've got 5G. So okay. 5g and we worked out the sine alpha was 5 over 13. So again, if I do 5 times 9.8 times 5 over 13, I get 18.8. And that's my P. What's that going to get? Now question 2. Now question 2, remember that we want to draw a new force diagram. So it's much easier to think about it as a force diagram. Okay, so there's my object. Okay, I've got my weight vector going straight down. I've got my tension going up here and my other tension going up here. So this one is going to be tension T, I'm going to call it TP because it goes to R P. This tension TQ because it goes to R Q. 
y2g here. Okay, so that's that. So now what do I need to do? Now I need to do it. I need to resolve vertically and horizontally. So what else happened here? So going straight up, vertical. Okay, what if we're going up? Well, I've got Z, E, so I'm going straight up. Or can we not know? Because these are alternate angles. Oh, so that's 45. So that's 45. Right. Okay, so it's going straight up. So it's not the marked angle, it's the other side. So that is TP of sine 60. Plus, I've got TQ of sine 45. Down, so they must be equal. This two G. This is equal. Okay, so that's that two G. Now going horizontally. So I've got T P cos sixty, and that's equal to going in the other direction. T Q cos. But basically, we're going to include the TG in the, in the horizontal because it's perpendicular. Right, so now what I have to do is do some substitution. So now, instead of my, so I'm going to do T, TP, so TP sine 60, okay, going in the vertical. So I'm going to add, but this time I'm going to swap in my. T P cos sixty. Okay, because T P cos sixty is equal to T P cos forty five, which is the same as T P sine forty five. So I'm going to substitute that in. So T P sine thirty sine sixty is equal to T P cos sixty. So both of those are equal to T P. Okay, well now it's just TP, so I'm going to just do TP equals sine 60 plus cos 60. That's all equal to G. And if I want to find TP, I just do TP is equal to 2G divided by sine 60 plus cos 60. Turn to our calculators. Making sure I calculate this in degrees and not in radians, we will find that TP is equal to 14.3 newtons. Okay, now if I want to know what um, if I know TQ is, I'm going to do the same thing. Well, I know that for the horizontal, let's do that here, for the horizontal, I know that TP cos is equal to TQ cos 45. So therefore, I can say that my TQ is equal to TP cos 60. And then we'll divide it by the cos 45. All of them is rearranged it, but this time I know what TP is. So I take my TP value that I worked out times cos 60 divided by cos 45, and that tells me that TQ is 10.1 newtons to 3 sig figs. So remember, 3 sig figs is the minimum. More good. Okay, hopefully, that makes sense. These are quite common questions.